Welcome to Dispute Fox. Let's explore how to set up the NMI payment gateway. First, let's begin with obtaining the API ID and transaction key from your NMI account, which will be necessary for setting up the NMI payment gateway on Dispute Fox. Log into your NMI account. Once you're on the homepage, navigate to the settings. Click on Security Keys under the Security Options section. Under the Private Security Keys section, click on Add a new private key. You can also use existing credentials if you've already generated them. Provide a name for the key. Select the username associated with the key. Make sure to check the API checkbox. Now, click on Create button. Once created, the value under the User field is your API ID, and the value under the Key field is your transaction key. Make sure to note down both the user and key values, as you will need them later for setup. Now, let's set up the NMI payment gateway in Dispute Fox. Begin by navigating to the Settings dashboard. Once here, proceed to the Billing section, where you can manage your payment gateway settings. In the Payment Gateway tab, click on the Add Payment Gateway button to get started. Give your payment gateway a user-friendly display name, for example, I am naming it NMI Merchant. In the Processor Name field, choose NMI Payment Gateway from the drop-down list, now available as one of your payment options. In the Default Method field, decide whether you want to set this payment gateway as the default method as yes or no. Retrieve the API ID from your NMI console, named as user value, and copy-paste the value here. Retrieve the transaction key from your NMI console, named as the key value, and copy-paste the value here. In the status field, set test mode initially for testing. However, before accepting live payments, please make sure to set the status to active mode. In the Retry Failed Payments field, toggle this button on or off. If enabled, the system will automatically retry failed payments based on the retry frequency you have set here. I am configuring the number of retries as 2, with a retry frequency of every 2 days. Once you've filled in all the necessary information, click the Submit button. This action will add the new payment gateway to your list of payment methods. From the list of payment gateways, you have the flexibility to edit or delete them as needed. You can also set your preferred default payment method by editing the options. Setting up the NMI payment gateway is simple, isn't it? Now let's explore how to test payments using Authorize.net or NMI payment gateways. For this demonstration, I've already configured both payment gateways in test mode. However, when you set them up, ensure that the status is set to active to accept the payments. Now, let's go ahead to process a payment for the recently added client, Edward Rose. Navigate to the Billing section. Click the Add Payment Method button to add a new payment method. Fill in the necessary details such as billing address and credit card details. Please note that for this demo, I'm using a test credit card, but in a live scenario, you should add the actual card or bank details of the client. Once completed, click on Save Settings. You can find the recently added credit card in the Payment Methods tab with an Edit option. Now, let's create an invoice by clicking on Create New Invoice. In the Processor field, select the Payment Gateway from the drop-down list that you set up earlier. For this demonstration, I'll start with the Authorize.net Payment Gateway, configured for testing. Fill in the necessary details for the items you want to charge. Since I'm instantly charging the client in this demo, I'll select the Save and Charge option. Adjust these settings based on your specific requirements. Choose the Billing method and click on Proceed. As you can see, the transaction is successful and the status is paid. The invoice is also generated. In the Authorize.net account, you can verify that the transaction was successful. If there are any issues with a failed transaction, please contact Authorize.net support. Now, let's process payment using NMI Payment Gateway. Click on Create New Invoice. In the Processor field, select the Payment Gateway from the drop-down list that you set up earlier. This time we will use the NMI Payment Gateway. Fill in the necessary details for the items you want to charge. Since I'm instantly charging the client in this demo, I will select the Save and Charge option. Adjust these settings based on your specific requirements. Choose the billing method and click on Proceed. As you can see, the transaction is successful and the status is Paid. The invoice is also generated. 
In the NMI payments account, you can verify that the transaction was successful. If there are any issues with a failed transaction, please contact NMI Payment Support. Processing payments using Authorize.net and NMI Payment Gateway is simple right?